For those of you new to our channel, we are Rhonda and Joe with RVing with the Maracas. This video in our playlist, Winterizing in Florida Without a Plan, takes you to six camping areas that we visited. Suwannee River State Park, Olino State Park, Boondocking with Family, Tillis Hill Recreation Area, Blueberry Hill RV Park, and Bill Frederick City Park. We spent seven nights at Suwannee River State Park, and this was our second visit to this park. It is located in North Florida near Live Oak. The Suwannee River and Withlacoochee River are a beautiful part of the park. There are lots of hiking trails and the park is quiet and peaceful. It is located in the northern part of Florida, so don't expect to be warm if you visit this park in the early winter months. Alina State Park is one park that we did make reservations for shortly after beginning our full-time RV adventures and were able to stay there a full 14 nights. This was our second visit to the park. It was a bit chilly and we were so busy visiting family for Thanksgiving and Christmas and getting caught up with doctor appointments that we neglected to take very many pictures in the park this time around. It is a very relaxed park with beautiful trees and nice wooded camp signs. Sites. The negatives are the road within the campground loop is dirt and it's a bit bumpy. Well, mooch stocking is the best. It was so much fun seeing everyone after being away for a few months. We went shopping, did some projects, ate too much, and went fishing, played with our grandnieces and nephews, and visited with everyone. We had a great holiday season in spite of the travel restrictions and COVID-19. <music> Tillis Hill Campground is located near Inverness, Florida in the Withlacoochee State Forest and has 74 campsites. Getting to the campground is a bit dusty because you have to drive a few miles down a dirt road, but once you get there, the campground is lovely. It has paved streets and large paved campsites with water and electric hookups. There is a dump station nearby. The RV community is great. Someone left us a fun find at our campsite. There were campers with horses and nice stalls and pastures for the horses to stay. There was a Jeep rally with lots of campers over the weekend. We had fun hiking on the trails, especially with the weather being so cool. We were greeted by horseback riders while walking. Our next campground is Blueberry Hill, a private RV park located in Bushnell, Florida. We ended up at this campground because it was New Year's week and everything was booked. It was a very clean RV park with excellent laundry and full hookups. We rode our bikes to Dade Battlefield Historic State Park and enjoyed the day touring around. We ventured over to Orlando and had a nice lunch with a daughter and her friend. Bill Frederick Park is a city park located in Orlando, Florida. We have stayed at this park many times because the price is right and we have family in the area.
It is $20 per night with water and electric hookups. There's a dump station nearby. Some of the sites do have full hookups. This time around, we visited with our daughter and took a trip over to Hollywood Studios at Disney to see the Star Wars exhibit. Of course, we had to wear a mask, but the weather was cooler, so it was not too bad. The park was not crowded this time, although we did have to make reservations because of the limited capacity. It was a really fun weekend. Thanks for watching and be sure to like the video and subscribe if you're new to our channel. Feel free to leave us a comment and tell us what you think. We'll be happy to respond.